Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to a brand new tutorial today. And this is a tutorial about being able to emit particles from either a mesh or a sprite so you can use the shape of that object to emit the specific particles. And a great developer called Mirza Bij, if you've ever seen him on Twitter or on YouTube, he has some really awesome particle effect tutorials. He made me aware of this and I wanted to try it out. We're gonna look at this today. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 155 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out all the links in the description for all the best game dev savings for this month. Here in my scene is that I was inspired to put something together which I thought would look quite cool. And this is a, a Goku model with a few interesting additions. Now, the way that this works is what we can do is I'm just going to get rid of the particles that we have there. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose effects and I'm going to choose particle system. I'm going to rename this to character particles. And then under the shape section, you can see that normally we can select by shape and something else. What we could do is we can select by mesh renderer and we can select by triangle because then it's going to go from the exact triangles of the mesh and we can select a specific mesh renderer. So this is the mesh that I've got for this. It's the Goku model. And you can see that it'll start being able to emit from the actual edges of this model itself. You can actually use a single material or use the mesh colors if you need to do that. But what I also like to do is to be able to increase the emission to whatever value seems appropriate to you. And then what I would like to do is I'm going to put the duration on one. I'm gonna put this, leave the start delay on zero. The start lifetime is going to be one. Start speed is also going to be zero. Then in this instance, you could well change the color. You could change the material that we have on it. So you can see here, I just have a particle material and you can see that my particle material is when I created it, it's just a particles shader unlit with both as additive of the rendering mode and the color mode and it's got the albedo slot is just a default particle image and i've got a hdr color with the intensity at about 2.2 so you know you can set that if you've got some cool looking effects and then in our case you can have a little bit of velocity over lifetime and you could maybe make the particles go up a little bit in the air like this and then what we can do is we can choose the color of a lifetime and then what we're going to do is add two points on the insides select the endpoints take the alpha all the way down just so we have a much softer fade on our particles and then what we can look at you can look at decreasing the overall size if you want different size particles but with the value of one it could be the energy around him but what we could do is take the start color and reduce the alpha value so you can get a much softer feel of say the energy that's emitting from around the actual character. Maybe so we can see his face a little bit and we get a couple of different particle effects, which is a bunch of different energy. And then I've just added some rocks post-processing and some depth of field around the character too. And you can also do the very similar thing with a sprite. And then let's say you bring in a sprite, you can make sure that it's set to 2D and UI, and then you can just drag this into your hierarchy and it will be a 3D object on a sprite renderer. So it will just be rendered so you can see it in the game view as you would normally. Now what you can do in a similar way is you can go to effects and you can go to particle system and I'm just going to drag this near my heart here so I'll just call this heart particles and then in this case we'll go to the shape and instead of having the cone we can use this as a sprite renderer so we could add the heart here and then you can make sure that it emits from the triangles of that specific object and then you can set the duration to one set the start lifetime to one start speed to one something like that we can up the emission just as an example for this so you can see it over the top you can go back to the shape and you can actually and you can set some different offsets if you want it to appear in a different place and also change any of the effects that you would normally on it and then you could get rid of the actual heart itself and then we've still got the particle effect which emits from that specific object itself so you can get a very custom shape no matter what you want to use so i hope this gives you some ideas on how you can use different meshes different sprites and things to create custom ideas and effects based on the actual shapes that they have. Be sure to let me know what you think, if you have any improvements at all. 
because I'd love to hear it or any tutorials that you want to see outside of this. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to 155 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my Asset Store. And a big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Hogan Nigan, Raheem Whitaker, Jean Pommy, Manos Berakas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, René Leisure, Tofa Chambers, Kreshnik Alali, Christian Salen, Benjamin Shankel, Alex Shen, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Lebrons, Stephen Mormon, Rob Winkle, BJ Pickles, Binto Kebino, and Ishkawa Takuya. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.